Hello everyone, this is Mr. Amonso. Today I would like to talk the HKDSE sample paper, Mathematics Compulsory. Paper 1, Session A1, Question 6. Please read the following statement, which is the foundation of this whole series video. If you don't have enough time, please pause this video. Otherwise, we go to the question. Okay, for question 6, it is talking about volume of prism and pyramid. At this time, it's just pyramid and sphere. So whatever it is, I would always like to remember these three volumes together, as well as the surface area, which I will show at the end of this video. For prism volume, uh, it is very easy because it is just uh, times the base area with the height. I put it h here. However, for pyramid uh, volume, there is a one third number to times. For sphere volume, you need to memorize there is a four over three number fraction times pi times r cube. Remember, because it is volume. It is always three lines time together, or three length times together. So this is our crib. All right. According to the question, if you don't have the question at hand, I strongly recommend you to go back to look at the question. Do it first and watch this video later. It said that um, the volume of the pyramid is equal to the double of the semi-sphere. So the, e uh, the equation is relatively, easy to, is relatively easy to set in order to find R, the radius. So I have confidence that you are going to be fine with the, the calculation. So I'm not going to illustrate any more in here. And then I would like to go to uh, part B. Part B is asking you to calculate the whole solid volume. So with the radius equals 3, again, it is not difficult to do the substitution and then do the final calculation. Remember the unit which is very important for you because in session A, uh, u minus 1, that means units, units mass will be detected if you miss or using up inappropriate unit. Well, as I said, I always manage my knowledge in a, in a structure. Easy for me to memorize and retrieve. So whenever I am asked to recall the solid volume, I also ask myself to recall the surface area. So, uh, this is the end of this video. If you have any math problem, please feel free to email me. Hopefully, I can help. Thank you very much and goodbye.